Welcome to your journey into the Chen Sabre form. The Chen Tai Chi Sabre is a short explosive routine. It gets the heart rate up, builds your legs, and it develops Fa Jing, aka energy release. And best of all, it's easy to learn. So I will be taking you through the form step by step, um, explaining each movement in depth and looking at applications of the form as well. Before we begin, um, there are a few things we need to know. So we can divide the sabre into several parts. So we've got the handle and the guard. So obviously we hold at the handle, the guard protects the hand, but it can also be used when we block, we can slide down the weapon, like specifically like a pole or a spear to like guide it away and also protect the hand. Then next we've got the blade. Um, the blade is used for slicing yeah, and hacking and chopping as well. Yeah. And also the blade becomes thicker and we can use this for more powerful blocks when we come to block oncoming attacks. Then we've got the end, the pointy bit we use to stab yeah, and thrust as well. Yeah. Then we've got the back of the sabre. So this is blunt, remember. So we use this to support with the other hand to deflect oncoming attacks. So we can guide, we can roll away, we can block, and we've got the other hand to come. So this is like kind of close quarter um, sort of combat or range. And then we've got the flags, and the flags just make it look pretty. There's a Chinese martial arts proverb to look at when learning the sabre form. And it goes something like this. When practicing or learning the single sabre form, you need to focus on the empty hand. So in this case, it's your left hand. And when practicing the double sabre, so that's two sabres in two hands, you focus on the footwork. So as we're learning the single sabre, I'll kind of give an example of this. So when focusing on the single sabre, we need to pay attention to the left hand. So when, we, when we're moving or when we're using doing the techniques, we've got to coordinate the left arm with the sabre. So for example, when I'm rolling or defending this way, you see how my arm, left arm is working? And as I slice, my left hand is coming out. And same, when I thrust, I'm not just kind of thrusting like this, I'm using my left hand to balance and to help get power out into the, into the strike. Disclaimer alert, there's lots of variations in the form. Um, from teacher to teacher and within the different lineages. So for example, we can use this movement where we block up. Some people will block up straight directly up. Some people will, they will move back and still again going into the same technique. Some people will block up and when they turn, so I'm gonna just turn this way, they'll make a short thrust. Yep, so this is the interpretation of the application because they're blocking, they're rolling the sword and it's close, yep. Some people, they will deflect, move and they will extend further or they may even, they may have the sabre this way or they may have it flat. Doesn't mean either are wrong, it's just variations of the same movement. In this section, I'm gonna take you through the first three movements of the Chen Sabre form. So the first movement is called opening form. The second movement is called the Sabre protecting the heart. And the third movement is called the green dragon comes out of water. Okay, so first thing before we begin, um, we need to look at how to hold the Sabre in your left hand, yeah? So we hold it um, almost like we're shooting a gun with, sing with like, you know, or you're pointing your finger this way with your thumb up. So the index finger is actually on the handle. The thumb goes on the guard and the other fingers curl onto the guard like so. Yep, so it's a bit like holding 
a gun making this shape so that's how we hold it and we hold it so the blunt side is against your forearm the sharp bit is pointing outwards yep so remember you don't want to be stabbing yourself like this so point it out your other hand is by your side and then when we change into the right hand we hold like we're shaking hands and close to the guard as much as possible and our grip we want it to be firm but loose at the same same time so not too much not too little the old tai chi saying yeah so let's start from here so the first movement is very similar to the opening form in the hand form so from here the arms so you sink you turn the arms come across and we move across this way so can you see the blade is up this way resting on my forearm the other hand if you see from here i sink i turn my hands come across boom and i'm turning the waist my knees stay together so this way so if you ignore the legs so if you look at my hands so if you imagine there's like an incoming attack coming in like a strike so i'm just going to bring my hands across and i'm going to deflect away so obviously we're not doing that in this instance because we've got the saber but it's that same motion can you see so the attacks coming in boom this way and in the empty hand form you can see when we turn it's like this yeah so from here i turn and boom so that's the hands i'll go this way so i sink and turn boom and i'll do one from behind i sink turn boom remember don't go too far back so i'll go one this way so i turn and boom okay so next we want to link the legs in so i start with my heels close together toes out so i sink and turn i'm going to adjust my right foot slightly boom i'm going to deflect and i step out heel down weight on your right leg so you're in that same movement in the first movement of the hand form before we you go into the bit into the stamping part yeah so again my heels are close together toes out i sink i turn my foot and step out yep so i'll go to the side so we try to do this smoothly not too slow so i turn and one but not too fast either remember shoulders relax you want to look forwards yep so i'm here i turn one looking forwards this way so i'll do one with my back to you so i sink turn turning my foot boom adjusting my foot so again one more time so i sink boom weight on the right remember yep remember left knee bent so again i'm gonna go this way boom okay the next bit we turn i shift and i bring the saber up this way the right hand follows so from here you see the hand goes down can you see the uh, the blade is still pointing out comes up this way yep so i'm here boom yep so here boom so with the legs see i turn boom down i'm going to adjust my left foot slightly i'm coming through and i'm going to step in onto my toes this way so if i go forward so remember just like in the hand form the the arm is bringing the leg yep so go this way i turn stepping out down turn the body shift step forwards this way yeah so again ready so i turn step out down i turn up and forwards so if i go a little bit smoother now and again ready so and i'm going to bring my hand i'm going to just start to bring my hand to the handle i'm not letting go with my left hand just yet so just get used to bringing the hand in this way so i'll go again this way boom and we'll go forwards one more time 
form. In the second movement, from here, so when our hand comes up, as we grab the, the sabre with the right hand, my left hand comes underneath. You see, I'm touching with the edge of my forearm, the hand touching, some people may even touch their um, forearm. Yep, so I'm just touching out this way. So you see, as it's coming through, I grab, boom, the other hand underneath, yep. And then from here, can you see I've still got my left leg in front, although I'm high, I'm gonna slice out and I separate with my left hand. Then I turn the blade, it comes over, whoom, in front. So the heart, the saber protecting the heart, meaning it's in front of the body protecting your body, yep. And remember, the left palm is on the saber, not too high, because that bit's thin. So we want the bit here so we can block and deflect. So we're holding here, not too close to the guard either, yep. Fingers in, you don't want them pointing out, so you don't want them to get chopped off or hurt when you're blocking incoming attacks. So fingers back, yep. So if I go this way, don't worry about the legs yet. Boom. Can you see I change left hand underneath, I slice, separate to the side, turn the blade, come over. Yep, so let's link the two movements together with the feet. So I'm gonna turn, I step out, down, coming through, I step. Here, I'm gonna step back diagonally. So, boom, I separate. Turn the blade, I come over onto my toes. Weight on the right, I can lift my left heel up without having to shift my weight. So again, I'll go forwards again. So I turn, sink, turn the foot, separate, down, forwards. Stepping in, I'm gonna step back one, two, boom, over. And you can start to speed that up a little bit. So I'm gonna sink, step out, down, up, step, whoom, this way. So again, ready. So here, I hand comes on the inside. I'm gonna step, boom, and slice, turn, over, boom. So from here, with the, um, the saber protecting the heart, you can also jump and make this a little bit faster. So we'll look at the jumping movement. So we'll ignore the first bit. I've come in, I change. So as I, as I slice, and instead of stepping, yep, so I'm gonna whoop, scissor and turn to the other side. Everything else is exactly the same. My weight is on the right, left heel up. So as I come through, as I change, boom, boom. You see I'm still slicing, bringing the sabre over. My, can you see how my left hand coordinates, balances out, boom, back over. So this time I'll link them together. Boom, yeah, so I'll go again. So the opening form. into the heart protecting saber or, or the saber protecting the heart. So one more time. So the next movement is the green dragon comes out of the water and it looks something like this. So you deflect or roll to the right, you roll to the left, you lift the leg down and strike out, boom. So there's two ways we could do this the way I've just done it, or we can go one, two, with a jump and make it a little bit more explosive. So let's have a look. So we've got to the end of the saber protecting the heart. So we're here, so we, this movement, this idea of deflecting will come, it will appear through the whole Chen Saber form. So a lot of the saber techniques are against like long weapons, like poles, sticks, spears. So you're kind of deflecting, you're blocking, you're moving away. So what we're trying to do is here, so we roll, deflect, or block to your right. Can you see? So I want this kind of triangle angle with the arm. So I don't want it to be flat. So sometimes when we play the form and we make it more explosive, we can cut this out. So we got to kind of practice step by step and also make it explosive as well. So can you see I'm, I've got this triangle angle. So this is gonna deflect, 
the incoming strike, boom, this way. Whereas if it's flat, it's not going to really deflect. It's going to come through, so boom. And I've got that pung strength. Can you see I've got the shape in the arms? I'm reinforcing it with my body behind it. Then we do the same to the other side. So one, two, boom. Can you see? So again, I go one, two. I'm turning. So this movement is very similar to like wave hands. Boom, boom. Can you see? So I'm going across, boom. Going across, boom. Going across, boom. So I'm here, I deflect one, I deflect two. So as I do this, I'm going to adjust my left leg. Go one, two, and I lift and I turn on my right heel as well. Down, I'm going to step out, boom, strike out. The blade is flat. Yeah, it's not this way, it's flat this way. So I'll go this way. So I deflect to the right. As I deflect to the left, still with that triangle shape or that angle, I lift adjust my right foot, cross step almost and step out, boom, this way. So I'm going to go this way. So we go one, two, boom, boom. So when I do it this way, if you have a look at my feet, I adjust my feet on the turn when I turn to the left. So I'm going one, two, boom. I use that movement to turn. So what happens here is, so as I go one, two, I also have kind of deflected and then I use my left hand to tip over, ready to strike out. And you see, my, I shift, boom, open. And my legs are like lazily tying coats, same stance from the hand form. Boom, boom, this way. Yeah, so let's have a look. So I go one, roll, two, boom, turn, shoom, strike out. So this time I'll go this way. Go one, two, boom, step, shoom. Remember to shift, strike out. So I'll go again. Go one, two, turn the blade, shoom. Okay, so you can also jump in this movement to make it more explosive. So generally the sabre form is an explosive form. So we try to um, kind of jump a lot in the form. So if you have a look, so I can go slow, I roll, one, two, boom, jump, bang, strike out. So again, ready? So I'm just speeding up. When I turn, can you see I lift my left leg and I kind of hop this way and then step out this way. So let's go again. So I go one, two, one, three, boom. I'll go this way, go one, two, one, and this way, one, two, one, bang. And I'll go forwards, go one, two, boom. In this section, we're going to look at the next four movements. So we have the wind scatters the broken flowers. We have white cloud above the head. We have black tiger searches the mountain. And then we have carrying the saber on the back. So let's look at um, the uh, wind scattering the broken flowers. So we've, we'll start with the arm movement first or the movement of the saber. So we've finished um, the dragon comes out of the water. So from here, I'm going to ignore the left hand for a minute. The saber is out. So I'm going to bring it onto my shoulder this way. So I'm just going to draw back in. So if I'm forwards, I just draw back in. Boom. And then from here, I'm going to roll over my head. And it's this way. So if I stand this way, so I bring it back one, two, boom. If I need to, as I come in, I roll the head, especially if I'm going to jump and go fast, just to be um, extra careful, just to be safe. So if I'm from the front, I go in one, two, boom, this way. And now we need to get the left hand into place. So we finish. So again, just ignore the legs. So I go one, 
You see, I'm bringing the left hand in as I come over, boom, two, come on the inside and I'm touching the forearm here to support. I've got space in my arms a little bit as well. So if I'm going from the front, I go one, two, boom, this way. So again, if I'm from the front, I draw in one, two, boom. If I'm this way, go one, two. Then here, you, your weight would be on the left. So I can turn slightly or load, and then I'm gonna slice out, boom, using my waist. I separate, my left arm separates with the right. But I don't want the sabre, so I'll just uh, do this again. So we're here, we go one, two. I don't want to slice out this way. I want to keep the blade this way. I don't want it to come out. So I want to stop here, and I want to use my waist to slice horizontally, boom. But remember, don't go out, don't spring, not too much, not too little, just enough this way, yep. So when we do use it, you may, may have to reach, that's fine, yep. So from here, I'm in one, two, three, use the waist. So we're here, I'm in one, two, three. If I'm going this way, go one, two, three. If I'm this way, Go one, two, three. And now let's get the legs engaged. So if we do this with a fixed step, kind of, um, or a step-by-step -step movement. So as I'm gonna, I cross step here, bring the sword over, cross, I'm gonna step weight on the left. I shift and slice out horizontally. So if I go this way, at the end of dragging out of water, cross step over one, Step up, heel down, weight on the left, shift, boom, strike out. So again, I'm here, weight on the right, I shift. Can you see I'm stepping, cross step on the inside, left hand on the inside, step up, heel down, shift, strike. This time I'll come forwards, just a different angle. So I go one, stepping out, two, boom, as I shift, I strike, weight on the right. Your stance at the end is the same. Again, as lazily tied coat, I don't want to turn into a bow stance this way. So I don't want to turn. I want to be here like lazily tying coat this way, yeah? So we can do this movement with a jump. So it's pretty much the same. We just make it a little bit more explosive and speed up. So, uh, sorry, at the end of Green Dragon comes out of water. So I'm gonna just jump over, boom, boom. So I'm over, just gonna jump, boom, bang. So when we jump, if I just put the saber down, you see I'm gonna step, boom. So I kind of hop, then step out, yep. So you see I'm here, boom, boom. So that's slowed down. So I'll go again. I'll go this way. And I'll come forwards as well. So the next movement is um, white cloud over the head. So we finished, um, the wind scatters the broken flowers. So we're in this position here. So here, let's just look at the uh, sabre movement, the arm movement first over here. I'm gonna sink and bring the sabre down. So my weight is 50-50. Some people may shift to the left slightly and then draw back. We, um, the way I do it is a little bit different. So we sink, weight 50-50, and then we're gonna block up. I want my fingers to, to, um, to be back. I don't want them up, otherwise one, I'm gonna cut myself or two, I'm gonna get hit from the weapon that I'm blocking. So I try to push my fingers back, so I'm having my palm this way. So at the end of um, wind scattering broken flowers, down one, boom, block up. So I just want it above my head. You see, I don't wanna to go too high, so it's like um, someone aiming to go high, so you're gonna react and then they come underneath. So you just want to be enough, yep, not too much. Yep, so we're here, we go one, and then as I come up, I'm gonna step in, block up at the same time. My weight is on the right, left heel up. So I'm in the cat stance, very similar to at the end of six ceiling, four closing, no different, but I'm facing forwards. So at the end here, 
off um, from this movement. So your weight is on the right, you shift 50-50, then up, boom, block up. Can you see just above my head? So I'm here, my weight is on the right, down, boom, up, boom, blocking up just above my head. So I'll go at this angle here. So down one, two, boom. I'll go from here, down, boom. And one more time from the front, down, so cloud over the head. Now we'll look at the next movement, which is um, Black Tiger searches the mountain. And we'll look at the movement afterwards as well, because it's quite simple. So that's carrying the saber on your back. So we'll, come, we'll look at those two movements together in one go. So uh, we fin we're, we, we've got to here, white cloud above the head. So we're blocking. So from here, I'm going to twist step down this way. My weight is on the left, my right heel is up. So I'll go from the back. So I'm gonna twist step down, boom, body upright, this way. So here, so you can imagine, I'll go this way. So you imagine someone is pushing down. So in the form, it's not quite exactly done like as if someone's attacking you. This is for lots of different reasons. So imagine someone is attacking with a strike from the top. I block up as they push, I redirect down. Yep, so that's what we're doing at this bit. Yep, so here. You see, I block up, I use a twist step, boom, down. The saber point is back. Then I'm going to use the momentum to change the sword, the saber. My left hand comes on the inside. So if you have a look from this angle, so I push up, I twist step, boom. My left hand is on the inside this way. So from as it's turning down, can you see I'm guiding down, then I'm going to let go. So as I'm from here as I'm guiding down I let go hopefully you can see my hand so from here the one two I'm gonna step out and we strike out short we don't extend so this is because in this movement when we block as I redirect we're close to the attacker so I don't need to reach to attack I'm already close and already we've done this movement already in the form where we extend out, Green Dragon comes out of water. So we want to develop like a shorter strength and a different technique. So this way it improves your Kung Fu overall. So if you have a look, we'll go continuously. So up, I redirect with the twist step down. I step weight on the left, I shift and strike out weight on the right. The other hand can move back. So I'll go this way. So I'll block up, I twist step one. Here I've got to make sure, you see my knee comes through, it's not getting stuck behind, boom. I step weight on the left, and then I shift and strike out, not too, too far. So again, I'll go this way. So I go one, two, three. I'll go this way, go one, two, three. Okay, and this movement you can do a little bit more explosive. You can jump, you combine the movements together. So from here, one side block up, I'm gonna jump all the way around and strike straight up. So I jump and turn, boom, strike straight out. So can you see I jump, boom, this way. Yeah, so I'll go the other way. You see I jump this way carry on so I'm still like almost like twist stepping I'm getting into this position yep so I'll do that fully Boom. bang strike out and I come up Boom. strike out and I'll go this way Boom. Boom. strike out and I'll go this way Boom. Strike out. So those are the two ways you can do Black Dragon searches the mountain. And the next movement is carrying the saber on your back. So from here, I turn the left foot, my weight is on the right, I step through and I bring the saber onto your shoulder. Remember, don't cut your ear like I just did. Yeah, so from here, if I go this way, I've gone here, I turn. I step through into a cat stance, 
and rest the sabre on my shoulder like so. The handle is diagonally down, not up this way. Yeah, so again, so I turn, I step through, boom. My hips aren't forward, they're at a slight angle. They're not forward at the slight angle, but my intent is forward. So if I go this way, so now we also combine the left hand. So as I turn, boom, come to the handle just to touch this way, like so. So I'm here, so I turn, boom. Then I'll go from here, I turn, boom. Go forwards, so I turn, boom. Then from here, I turn, boom. Okay. Okay, so let's put all of the three, four movements, sorry, to, together, yeah. So we're at the end of Green Dragon comes out of water, which we're here. So we want to jump or step, boom, over. So the wind scattering the broken flowers. Now white cloud above the head, down, block up. Black Dragon searches the mountain, turn, strike out. Carry the broadsword on your back, boom. Remember, right leg forward, turn. So I'll go the other way. So from here, ready? We jump over, whoom, bang. Down, block up, redirect, whoom. Carry the sabre on your back, turn, whoom. And I'll go again from this way. So over, boom. Use your waist, down, up. Redirect, remember, weight on the left, heel down, strike, turn, warm. Remember to turn the foot left hand here, sabre handle downwards diagonally. So one more time. In this section, we're going to look at the next three movements of the Chen Tai Chi sabre. So that's golden rooster stands on one leg, roll and close to the incoming force and horizontally cutting the white snake's waist. Okay, let's look at golden rooster stands on one leg. So we, we start, so the, left, the movement before this was carrying the sabre on your back. So let's look at the arm movement. So from here, ignore the left hand for the moment. So I'm gonna open and slice up and turn back in front of me, roughly in my center line. So it's on my shoulder, on my back I open, I can have a loose grip if I want, I use my wrist to turn, then I bring it back. So we, boom, so back, boom. So if I'm from the side, slowly I open, boom, this way. So I slowly open, boom, open, boom. And then we can coordinate with the other hand. So from here, I open, boom, boom, left hand, just like the movement at the beginning of the form, the saber protecting the heart this way, yep. So I'm here, touching, and carrying the sabre on your back, so you open, boom, this way. So I'm here, boom, boom. Then we coordinate this with your leg. So we're here, I open, I step back, one, two, left foot in front. Yep, so just like um, the sabre protecting the heart in the first section of the sabre form. So ready, I'm here, I open, step back, one, two, boom. So I'm gonna face forwards. So my weight is on the left, right leg in front. I open, step back, one, two, boom. So you can do this with a little bit of speed as well. Boom, kind of hop, skip, kind of retreating back, switching your stance. So right leg in front, so I open, boom. Weight on the right, left heel up. So if I go this way, boom. I'll go again, so. Boom, then from the front. Now one more time. Okay, so now let's look at roll and close to the incoming force and horizontally cutting the white snake's waist together. Yep, so these movements we have to combine together. So roll and close is a repeat movement. So remember at the beginning we have green dragon comes out the water where we roll or deflect to your right then we roll or deflect, or you can even say close to your left, and then we turn this way, and then we strike out. So this time we go the other way. So we go, boom, 
to your left, then to your right. And can you see it's the same angle? I'm not going flat, flat, because then I miss the thrust of the weapon. So I'm rolling, deflecting, deflecting, deflecting. In reality, I can move, I can move my feet in different ways. Yep, so that's what I'm trying to do with this movement. So you imagine the incoming force of a long weapon, like a pole or a spear. So I deflect this way. Maybe they retreat, they attack again. I deflect the other way. So that's roll and close um, to the incoming force. Then from here, we want to cut horizontally. So I lift, boom. So imagine I've deflected the spear and I'm spinning around that spear or pole, boom, to attack the person. In reality, I might have to go this way, but to just to follow the principles of the form, we stop here, boom, we use the waist, yeah? So if you have a look, so I'm here, I go one, two, boom, bang. So this is pretty much um, um, the wind scattering the broken flowers. Instead of going over your head, we're rolling round something, spinning, boom, striking this way. So if you have a look. So I go one, two, I use this momentum to help me spin, boom. Boom. So in reality, it's like a pole comes, boom. As I spin, I'm gonna use my body to spin around the pole. I can even grab it to help. This is like the coordination of the left arm to strike out. So I'll go one, two, boom. This way, so I'll go this way. So I'll go deflect, deflect, turn, slice. So I'll go this way. We deflect, deflect, slice. I'll go one more time, deflect, deflect, slice. Okay, so um, because the saber form is a short form, we can add in moves to make it a little bit more taxing um, when you practice for your training. So what we usually do is if we have the space, so from here we go one, two, I add in um, wind scattering the broken flowers, just a repeat movement, boom, exactly the same. We don't need to look at it, we looked at it earlier. So I'm here, I go one, two, one, one. So again, go one, two, boom, boom. <clears throat> okay, so now, so now let's combine all those four movements together. So we're at the end of the um, saber, ca uh, carrying the saber on your back. So we're gonna go into golden rooster stands on one leg. We open, step back, turn. Now we roll and close to the incoming force, boom. Then cutting this white snake's waist horizontally. And if you want to, you can add in the wind scattering the broken flowers, boom. So we start from here, right leg in front. So remember rooster on one leg, we open, boom. Left, right, turn, slice, over if you want to, an extra movement. So again, ready, so rooster on one leg. Left, right, slice, over, and one more time, slowly, one, two, spin round, boom, over. In this section, we'll look at three rings round the sun. So that's move number 11 in the Chen Tai Chi saber form. So let's have a look at it first. So we finished cutting the snake horizontally, the waist, the waist of the snake horizontally. So we're in this position. Don't worry about your legs. So here we, we turn the blade and I'm coming across this way. My left forearm touches my right forearm. So similar to like movements in the hand form, like lazy tank coat, but I'm going across this way. Fingers are up. So from here, you can imagine it's almost like you're pulling somebody and you're slicing across. So this is like the the usage, yeah, but we disguise it this way, boom, here, touch here. So that's the first movement. So we come here, we turn the blade, boom, turn this way. So if I do it from behind and then we'll bring the legs in. So we come over, boom, then I, boom, turn this way, yeah. And so let's get the legs in. So my weight is on the right leg. I'm gonna sink and turn my left foot. Try not to let your knee collapse, otherwise all that weight is going through your knee and you're gonna hurt your knee. You've got to keep this in place. You've got to open your hips as much as you can. Weight still here, yep, so you'll feel it in your legs. So weight is on the right, down, turn, boom. 
So in this movement, we, do, we go diagonally. So if I'm stood this way, I'm gonna go diagonally towards my left. Yep, this way towards the corner of your room or the corner of wherever you are. So I'm gonna move slightly further back. So we'll do the first ring round the sun. So I turn, boom. Now I'm gonna come in, touch, boom, up this way. Yep, so I've got my hands like this. The, the back of the blade is on my tricep or the back of my arm. Some people might bring it all the way over, that's fine. I prefer to do it this way, thinking of it almost like blocking in and then coming in, trapping, so boom, boom. This way you can think of it like this. So we're here, so I go one, I turn, two. Can you see I've shaped my body to go to the right? I'm gonna step or lunge. So we try to lunge or skip, sorry, or leap. Boom, the other leg behind, I squat down. Can you see the, my arms separate? Boom, and I squat as far as I can. I try not to slice this way, I kind of chop down. Can you see I separate? my arms if I come to the side, whoom, as I come down. So it's like up here, whoom, coordinating the left arm with the strike of the blade. So now I'll go a little bit faster. So weight on the right, I turn the left foot, weight's on the right, I go all the way through, boom, that's one ring round the sun. So I'll go again. So I turn one, two, three, boom. This time I'll go the other way. So you can see from a different angle. So I turn, boom, weight on the right. If I can't turn my left foot enough, I use this momentum, can you see as I'm to come across this way. So this is gonna stop me from twisting my knee. So I'm here, turn one, then I'm gonna leap, two, boom, this way. Yep, so I'll go again. Weight on the right, turn, weight still on the right, turn, boom, boom, as far as you feel comfortable. Make sure you thread your knee through this way, yeah? Okay, so the second ring is pretty much the same. We just repeat the same movement, but because we're starting from this position, it's slightly different. So I'm gonna go in a straight line, just so you can see what's going on. So I've done the first ring, boom, I'm here. I come up and turn, boom. My weight is on both legs, so I'm in like a horse stance. So if I do it from a different angle, so you can see the other side. So I'm here, I turn, boom, I cross. I can touch my palm here. Then I'm gonna turn, spin, come over. Can you see I'm in a cross stance? Ha saber above my head, I'm gonna leap, boom. That's the second ring completed. So I'll go again. <clears throat> So we've done the first one, I'm gonna go across again, just so you can see. So I'm here, I turn one, I turn two. Can you see I use my feet fast from here? Boom, and I use the saber, I turn, boom, this way, all in one go. So I'm here, boom, and then I leap across, boom, this way. And the third ring, we repeat exactly the same. So I'll just go through this a few times and then we'll link it together. So. I've done the first ring. So I go one, two, three. I'll go again. So I turn one, two, three. And I would just keep repeating, yeah? So now I'm going to put them all together. So I'm gonna do two only just because of my space and then I'm gonna try and add three in after that, yep. So I'm gonna start from here. The first one, one, weight on the right, I turn. Going towards the corner, two. Second ring, one, two, three. And you can try to explode, try to jump as far or spring as far as you can, or you can do it kind of slow and smooth like I just did. So again, ready? So we go one, two, turn one, Two, boom, so I'm out of space. But I would just do the third one again. So I'll go a little bit back and I'll try to get three in this time. So I go one, two, one, two, one, two. And again. So one, slow, and then you can spring. Two, one, two, 
one, two, boom. And that's three rings round the sun. In this section, we'll look at the next five movements of the Chen Tai Chi Saber form. So we have dispel the clouds to see the sun. Um, beat the grass to search for the snake on the left and right side. So they're classed as two movements. And then we have two repeat movements. Green dragon comes out of the water and the wind scattering broken flowers. So let's have a look at those. So we've finished at three rings round the sun. So we're, remember we're going at an angle. So I'm gonna start from here. So we're gonna look at dispel um, the clouds to see for the sun first. And all of this section kind of links together. So we'll go through all in one go. So I'm um, here. I turn, so although I was going towards the corner, yeah, I'm going to turn and go this way. I'm going to turn my intention this way. So if I'm stood this way, can you see I'm going towards the corner. Now as I come, I'm going to turn to go forwards. Yeah, so I'm going to just go across this way, then you can see what's happening. So I'm here, boom, I turn, I step, I can slice here or bring my sabre across. So this is inviting an attack. So I'll go from this angle. So let's see where I'm at, boom. So as I turn, I can slice the sword or turn or bring it across, it's inviting an attack. So a spear movement is coming in and then I'm gonna deflect this way. So it's like dispelling the clouds to see ahead. So I'm basically, the attack is coming. I want to go deflect. I don't want to go too far across. If I go too far across, the, the stick is here. It's gonna hit me. Yep, so I've got to boom, move. And can you see the angle? Again, that same, very similar to the same angle as when we do roll and close to the incoming force. Exactly the same, I don't want it flat because I've already deflect this way, yeah? So I'll put this together. So we go one, two, boom. I'll go this way. So I go one, two. So I try to spring out with my legs. So can you see I turn one, boom. I'm in like a cat stance or an empty stance, boom. Then I'm gonna spring back, boom, into like another cat or empty stance. So if I come a little bit more central, go one, two, boom, this way. So that's dispel the clouds to see the sun. And I'll go one more time. So I go one, two, this way, okay. So the next two movements are beat the grass to search for the snake. So the variations, of rolling and closing again or they're more like blocks in this instance but we're basically doing wave hands so we've come up I've gone boom this way then here when I go to the left you see I cross step it's like wave hands then I turn I step forward cross step wave hands so this is what we're doing here so I'm going from the spell the um, the cloud so I go one you see I'm going not to the side I'm coming forward then I turn step across but going forwards two boom wave hand so my boom boom so when I have the saber I'm going you see across and across when I go to the left my left hand is up when I go to the right my right hand is up just like wave hands like clouds when we do the empty hand form yep so I'm just changing one, two, and in the form, when we also do wave hands, sometimes we step behind, boom, boom. So when I'm doing beat the grass to search for the snake, I'm stepping behind in the same way, but I'm gonna lunge, boom, this way. So if I do it without the saber, I'm gonna go one and I cross or I squat. And my intent is downwards, I turn, we go one, two, this way. Yeah, so I'll go again. So can you see my left leg is in front? I go one, I come out, two, boom. And you can spring and explode into that movement as well. So let's put it with the saber. So I've got the end, the movement before. I go one, I turn the blade, two, boom, this way. So ready, I'm gonna go again. So I've come from here, I go one, Two, boom, this way. So I'll go again, ready. Go one, two, boom. I'll go 
a few times sideways and then we'll add on. So I'm here, boom. I go one, two, boom. I'll go the other way. I'm here, I go one, two. So you can squat deep or you can stay high. Boom, boom, that's entirely up to you. So the next two movements are repeats. Green, <coughs> green dragon out of water and um, the, broke, the wind scattering the broken flowers. But there's a slight difference um, because we're coming from a different movement. So we're here, I'm going to turn. Can you see? So this is like I've blocked a weapon, an incoming attack, boom, boom, whichever way. And I'm close and I'm gonna just turn the blade and hit the person on the head with the blade because I'm too close to stab or thrust, yeah? Like boom, boom. So I've got to use the left hand to guide that. Make sure the left hand isn't over. It's like the fingers edging, yeah? So if you have a look, we're here. Can you see I'll stay high? Boom, you lift the left leg, step, green dragon out of water. So if I go this way, I go to the right, then boom cross step boom and then here you have the next movement repeat wind scattering the broken flowers so I'll go from here so I turn boom cross step strike wind scattering the broken flowers so this time I'll come from a different angle so I'm here then the last beat the grass to search for the snake turn boom Boom, over, boom, this way. So with that transition, we can also jump. So if I come to here, can you see here, instead of just stepping and cross step and striking out, I kind of hop, jump, skip, all at the same time, boom, and then spring out. If I come here, so very similar to all the other jumps, like we lift, we turn, we, you see a twist step. I can turn, boom, this way. I can do boom, boom. All very similar movements, very similar. So I'm here, I've gone one, one, two. Then I go the other way. One, two. Then into wind scattering the broken flowers, boom. So again, you see I'm, Wow, jump, shoom. Wind scattering the broken flowers. Okay, so now we'll put these movements together um, so we can see what they look like together. So we're, the, we're at the end of three rings round the sun. I come up, one. I step back, two to block the spell, the clouds to see the sun. So now I step, beat the grass to search to the snake for the snake. Then the same movement to the other side. Then dragging out of water, whoom. I'm gonna shuffle back. Then we have wind scattering the broken flowers, whoom. Then I'm gonna go the other way. So remember towards the corner. So now we come up, one. Then I block, two or deflect. Then I'm blocking to the left, to my right, dragging out of water, whoom. Strike. One, wind scattering the broken flowers. I'll go one more time. <coughs> go one, two, one, two, eat, one, eat, one. One more time. <coughs> I'll go one, two, one, two, eat, one. Over. In this section, we're going to look at the next two movements of the Chen Tai Chi Sabre form. So we have Golden Goose inserts its golden wings and we have a ferocious monster searching for the sea bottom. Okay, so we'll look at the Golden Goose inserting its golden wings. Okay, so we, f we finished here, the wind scattering the flowers. So here, I'm gonna turn the blade. I'm gonna shift to the left I, I imagine pushing, trapping something across. Then I'm gonna chop over. So this movement, if you think of it as like empty hand, there's a strike coming. I deflect, parry, 
and I'm either striking across, striking this way, or chopping, however you want to think. So the attack's coming, boom, boom. This way, I can even move off, boom, this way. So this type of idea. So you imagine with the saber, you're, you, you're in close, you've trapped, mate, you've got to the arm, you've passed the weapon or whatever, yeah. So it's like, boom, bang, I'm striking across. So that's the idea of this movement. So I'm here, wait on the right, I turn, I shift, boom, I cross, chop over, not down too much, this way. So I'll go a few more times, then we'll add on. So I turn, I shift, one, boom, weight comes to the left. So again, weight onto the right, you turn, shift, boom, and cross. Remember, palm facing out, and I'm going diagonally. So if you have a look from this side, so I turn, one, this way, diagonally. So again, weight is on the right to start with. Turn the blade, whoom, hack this way. So let's add on. So from here, we, we start to move in that same diagonal movement. So ready, so I'm here, I turn, I chop. I'm going to bring the sword round, step in, over. So very similar, similar movement to three rings round the sun. So here, whoom, you see I've chopped across my arms. I turn, and you see I'm touching my back, my, my shoulder. My other arm comes on top. Yep, so let's go together. So I turn, one, two. Now I'm gonna step, shift three, I hook behind, and I strike down. I'm not upright, I lean slightly, yep. This way, so I'll go a little bit smoother. So I turn and chop, one come through all the way to boom in one go so i'm kind of when i'm turning i step and hook behind yep this let my right knee is slightly bent so i'm in a stance i hook behind this variation so an easier version is you just bring your foot in that's fine so to test your balance you hook behind and to try and balance on your right leg so let's go again so from here one Two, warm from here. Yep, and then the next bit is the inserting the wings. So I'm gonna just change, turn my angle. So we've got to here, to the corner. I'm gonna bring my left hand round and up. So this is the bit where we've chopped. I'm just gonna put my foot down. So my left hand comes round and up. Can you see the palm is facing up? Fingers roughly forward. So if I'm here, come warm. Then I coordinate the sabre with the hand. So I'm here to the corner. I step back one. I step in two, it's like I'm stabbing behind. Then I turn, left hand up. The sabre, the back of the sabre can touch my hand, uh, my, my back, sorry, this way, yep. Or it can, I can have a little gap as well. So I'm here, so I go one, two, the other foot comes in. And then when you start to feel comfortable, you lift your leg high, balancing on one leg. So this is like the inserting the wings type movement. So let's put all of this together. So I turn and chop, come over, one, and then step back, left hand back, in, up, balancing on one leg, weight on the left. So I'll go this way. So I turn and chop towards the corner. Come round over, hook, step back. Now I'm facing this angle, it's like I stab. Then I turn my head to look forwards. So this time I'm gonna go the other way. So I turn and chop to the corner. I spring, one, two back, one, up, looking forwards. Yeah, so again, I'll go this way, I'll go the other way now, so I'm here, I turn and chop, I spring, boom, then I turn, boom, I want my knee to face forwards, not to the side, boom, this way, yeah, okay, so one more time, I'll go this way, so one, two, three, so the next movement is the ferocious monster searching the sea bottom. So let's have a look at that. So 
it looks something like this. So we finished golden goose inserting its wings. So I step down, boom, slicing down. I step out diagonally, heel down. I shift, left hand comes to my waist, boom, over the top, boom. So you can imagine it's like pulling something down, boom, and stabbing over the top. Yep, so that's the idea. So it's like coming from a different angle. Yep, so I'm um, here, let's change the angle. So here, as I step down, I'm gonna slice. You can stamp, boom. You see, I slice, boom. Then I step out diagonally, heel down. Left hand comes, I lean, boom. So I want to, when I lean, I don't wanna lift my hip up. My weight's got to stay here, boom. So very similar to diagonal posture. Can you see how my hip stays down? Like in the form, so I want that same movement from the hand form, that same idea, yeah? So let's have a look. So I'm here, down, one, two, boom. This time I'll go the other way. I'm here, down, boom, this way. So again, I'll come a little bit closer. So I'm up, down, one. I step out, heel down, I shift. You see the hand comes down, two, boom. Go the other way. The one, two. So now we'll put um, these two movements together, the um, golden goose inserting its wings and the ferocious monster um, searching the sea bottom. So from here, my weight is on the right. I turn and chop, remember it's like I deflect. I come round, hook, step back, round, up, down, warm, da, over. So this time I'm gonna go the other way. So my weight is on the right. I turn and chop, spring forwards, one, step back, two, down, over. Gonna go again this way, some here. I turn and chop, spring, hook behind, step back, coordinate the arm and saber, down, over, boom. And one last time. I turn and chop over, boom, back, whoop, whoop, whoop. In this section, we're going to look at um, turn the body and chop to the right and to the left. Okay, so we finished with um, searching the sea bottom. So that's where we'll start from, obviously. So um, I'm going to start with my back. So there's two ways we can do turn the body and chop. One is kind of step by step and that kind of connects um, the application as well, or the idea. And the other way is you can do it a little bit explosive where you jump, so I'll try to do both, okay? So I'm here, I finished from here. So I'm gonna turn to this angle diagonally, so that's towards the camera and then to the corner. So from here, I imagine someone's hitting me here. Yep, so I don't have to necessarily start from this position, it could be I just block this way, yeah, but we're gonna go because of the form. We're in this position. I turn and block. You see, I've turned my body, my left hand is down. This is gonna help with my structure. If it's just my right hand, I'm weak. Whereas if I'm pressing down, it's giving me that good, good strength to absorb the force and to maintain that, that force coming in, yeah? To maintain my structure, sorry. So from here, I turn one this way, yeah? And now I can add, and I lift the leg, one, boom, this way, as I turn, yeah? So now, boom, the chop off the pole, the stick is coming this way. So now from here, I go one, I'm gonna bring it down, I step. In the form, I'm gonna step diagonally, yeah? So, and I'm gonna press down either on the opponent's arm or the weapon, boom. The other, the saber comes to my shoulder. Now remember the old Chinese proverb, look at the, empty hand so as I chop down the other hand it can either circle up or come across to balance out this way I don't chop down and I'm chopping at that um, that corner I'm not, and I'm not slicing it's like whoom the tip is up slightly so let's have a look again so I'm here so I turn one down whoom pull down two chop down boom so I'm here so I turn, one, down, stepping at an angle, boom. So if you imagine like a square room or a box, 
So when I'm turning, I'm going to that angle, that corner. Then when I step, I'm roughly going to the other corner. So I'm not this way. Yep, so one more time. So I turn one, two. And then to chop to the other side, I do exactly the same. My weight comes to the left, I turn to the other corner. Exactly the same. So as you do this, you lift the leg. One, press down, remember, yeah? So we're here. One, down, two, boom. And then I can repeat again. Turn one, down, two, boom. Turn one, down, boom. So this time I'm gonna go sideways just so you can see the angle of my feet. So I start from here. So I'm gonna go towards the corner behind. So turn one, down, weight still on the right. I shift to the left. Then I turn one, down, weight to the right. Now I shift to the left. I turn one, down, trap, shift and chop, weight to the left. Turn one, down, trap, whoom, weight to the left. So hopefully you can see the angle. So that's the step-by-step -step turn, body and chop. So we do exactly the same, but we jump. We just jump. And we've got to uh, make sure we're at that same angle. So I'm going to start from here. So you say I go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So as I jump, weight still on the right, shift to the left, chop. As I jump, weight, heel down, weight on the right, shift to the left. I just go a little bit faster. Boom, and you finish on your left. So in the form, the standard is two. So for example, I'm here, I go one, boom, then two. And then I go into the next movement. But you can do as many as you want to build up your stamina, build up the skill, the technique, and then you can move on to the next movement. In this section, we're going to look at the last three movements of the Sabre form. So that's white snake spits its tongue, embracing the moon or holding the moon in your arms, and the finishing form. Okay, so we finished at turn the body and chop on the left side. So from here, white snake spits its tongue. So I'm gonna turn on my left heel and I'm gonna step in and slice across, touch my forearm. So if I do it from this angle, so my weight is on the left. I shift slightly to adjust my left foot. Can you see, and I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna step out to the side. Yep, so now I'll bring the saber into play. So from here I turn, one, boom, like I'm slicing through. Weight is on the left, right heel up. Then from here, this is a spitting movement. Boom, I come out. So it's basically um, like green dragon comes out of water. Yep, so I extend out weight on the right. So again, so I've got chop down. I turn one and step through, two. So a little bit smoother and faster. So then from this angle, turn one and chop, two, boom. Then from this angle, I turn one, two, weight goes to the right. So I'll slow that down a little bit. So turn weight on the left, step up, heel down, shift to the right. Just the normal Tai Chi principles. When you step weight on the back leg, then transfer through. So again, a little bit faster. So ready, one, two, then the other side. So go one, two, okay. So the next movement is holding the moon in the arms and the closing form we combine together. So I'm gonna go from here. I'm going to step in, one, I touch my forearm. I'm still facing this way. So if you have a look from this angle, so I've come in, I turn, one, boom this way and I'm holding this way. Yeah, so I'm gonna go from here. So I go one, then I'm gonna turn and slice back. Boom, can you see my arms separate? Then I'm gonna step in my right leg, swap into my left hand. So remember we hold like in the beginning, remember like the gun, boom. 
thumb on the guard, index finger on the handle, the other three fingers on the guard as well. Remember the sharp bit of the blade out, the blunt bit on your forearm. So let's put that together. So from here, I shift weight on the left. I'm gonna just adjust myself. Then I'm gonna step back to turn, boom. Weight on the front leg. You see, it's like I'm slicing. Then I step in, feet together, I close. Then from here, I pass to my left arm. I'm gonna step forwards, salute, boom, straighten. Hands to the side. So when I salute, the hands stay this way. Remember, thumb tucked in, boom. And I just touch onto the guard, roughly here. Yep, and remember your elbows don't come up. Diagonally down, diagonally down. So I'll go again. So from here, I turn, spit, one, turn, embrace the moon. Closing form, one, two, down. So again, ready? So I slice across, one, back one, then two. So when we speed it up, you can add slight variations to the movement. It's not gonna be exactly the same. So we generally try to do this movement smoother and faster, but if you want to, you can do it slow and smooth like this. Well, we come through, boom, we go one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna speed up. So I go one, two, In this section, um, I'll explain and demonstrate um, some of the applications of the Chen Sabre form. So the Sabre form is quite direct and simple um, in its usage. And a lot of the ideas of the Chen Sabre form is not Sabre against Sabre, it's, get, it's against another pole or another weapon. So um, first I'll explain just some of like the slashes and thrusts um, before we look at some of the ideas against the pole or the spear, yeah. Um, so it's quite obvious here, I'm just slashing, here I'm thrusting, it doesn't really matter. I, I'm just like stabbing, I'm chopping, so you'll see movements like this, I'm slicing or cutting horizontally, yep, so that's pretty much what they're doing, yep, but it's the movements around, yep, that we'll look at. So for example, we use movements like this a lot, boom, roll, roll, before we either slice, before we thrust, and then even we use movements like this before we hack or chop as well. So these movements, we use the hand to kind of block. So imagine a long weapon, like a pole coming forward. I can move off and block. I can even move off and bl block and slide down the weapon towards the person's hand. Yeah, I can block out to the side. They come to thrust, they can block again. Yeah, so the, something coming from the top, I block this way. I re direct and strike in. Yep, so this is the basic idea of the Chen Sabre form, using the other hand and using these movements to block. So in the next section, I will demonstrate the Sabre applications against a pole or a spear. Okay, so we'll look at the idea of roll and close now. So Ralph is gonna thrust his stick towards my center so he's like touching, yep. Yeah. So again, so he thrusts this way. So I'm in this position from the um, saber protecting the heart. You see he comes this way, I'm gonna deflect out to the side. So remember, I'm using that triangle shape. So I'm not having it flat. Otherwise, if you come again, if I kind of go like this or miss, can you see it's, it's gonna hit me. So I need this triangle shape for this structure. I don't need to always, you sometimes go, I can use both hands. Other times I can start and I slide away. Can you see how the, the pole slides? I can go towards his hand. So this can also work if we swap sides on the other side as well. So as he comes, I rotate out this way. I can step again in the form, if you just relax for a minute, Ralph. So in the form, I can go right, left, turn. This way I can go left, right, spin yep and we also have um, beat the um, grass to search for the snake boom boom very similar ideas yeah so this time Ralph is going to thrust side to side and I'm going to just deflect and deflect so if you come in and move off he retreats so as he comes again I'm going to move off to the other side as he retreats move off so this is a good way to 
and practice this idea. So I can start stationary. So we go, boom, he comes in, boom, boom. And then I can start to get my feet involved, boom, 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 boom. Okay, thank you. So that's how to use this movement from the Chen Tai Chi Sabre form. In this section, um, we're going to look at Green Dragon comes out of water. So that's the, um, one of the first movements in the form where we go right, left, boom. So we go deflect, deflect, boom, this way. It's in, I slice out, boom, this way. So I might miss. So I want to use my feet just a little bit. So I don't want to like jump out the way necessarily, but I want to slightly come. So as he comes again, I'm going to move off this way. And then here, can you see I'm going to grab the stick because it's a pole, there's no spear end. I'm going to chamber the sword just like in the form. And I'm going to stab. We don't have to stab this way. It could be this way. I, as I come, I could just change and stab this way. Yeah. So as he comes again, so he goes one, two boom this way so as he comes again i move off boom i turn and boom okay so that's green dragon jumps out of the water in this section we're going to look at black tiger searches the mountain so that looks like this where we block up i redirect and strike out so i block up I deflect or redirect, turn, block up. So in the form, we're kind of sideways or I'm square on and then I turn. Um, ideally, the attack is going to come forward. So I'm not going to be in this position and I'm not going to twist this way. I'm going to be something like this. And then the force is coming down and there's my twist step. I redirect this way, yeah. So then I'm going to come in. I can have in the, in the form, we do it this way or we do it this way, um, just because it's a different strike. So when I'm actually coming in, I can strike this way or flat. That's entirely up to you. Black Tiger searches the mountain. So Ralph is going to do an overhead strike. So he's going to come in and strike over. So directly over this way. Yeah. So he's striking down. So as he comes over, I'm going to block, boom. This way, can you see here I've blocked quite high. So I don't want to block this high because Ralph can retreat, take a step back, retreat the sword. Boom. Yep, so I want to just, as he comes in, I want to just block enough. Yep, then from here, I want to redirect the, the saber to the side and I can use the guard if it slides down as well. That's not always gonna happen. It just depends on the person's strength. So as he comes again, so I block up, maybe from here he might want to push down. So I use that force to redirect. But here I want to use my legs as well to enter. So as he comes in, I block up. I twist step just to redirect, that helps me here. Okay, so again, if he comes in. So, whoom. So here as I turn, I'm coming in quite close. So I'm not gonna be able to stab. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go whoom, hit over. Then I'm going to come over this way to take down and then that's going to give me more opportunities or other things. So this movement here where we flick over is from the, the end of um, search the grass for the snake where we go one, two. Can you see I jump? So this next movement we call green dragon out of the water as well. Boom, where I hit over this way. So from the side, can you see it's like boom, this way. This is why we use for the for the close range so we'll look at that one more time so again as he comes in i block up here as he pushes down i might redirect i'm going to come in boom hit and then in close yeah so let's go from this side so as he comes in and strike so this time i'm at, at the range so the range is different so i'm going to do exactly the same redirect and I'm gonna turn, and now I'm in range to strike. I can strike this way or flat as well, and relax. So this is why in our lineage, when we do this movement, we do a short strike because we're not far away. We don't need to extend, it's like close quarters. Yep, so it's like 
close quarters even even if it's this way we don't want to extend out like the other moves so again if he comes so he strikes down i'm like whoom i redirect i turn i can even stand and on his toes and stab so we'll do one more from this side he comes in boom i turn boom there in range so if i want to because it's not the spear when i do this movement so as he comes if i if i redirect i can catch underneath as well i don't need to let this pole go all the way down and then i've got the strike there so that's black dragon searches the mountain So in this section, we're going to look at turn the body and chop. So in the form, can you see I'm all the way here and I'm turning all the way around. Whoa, I can even jump in this movement. But in reality, when you're using this, you're, it's not always coming from behind. It could already be in front. You're just having to move your feet and your legs to come in. So we'll look at um, turn the body and chop. Okay, so turn the body and chop is used against like a, an attack coming from the top. So I want to first block and I want to try and move off the center slightly. So let's swap over. So Ayub is going to come and strike down. Boom. So he's trying to get in, yeah? So as he strikes down this way, so as he comes. So I'm gonna move off and block. So you, the reason I'm not supporting this time um, if you push down, push down into me as well, boom. Can, can, can you see, push down, push down, keep going, keep going. It's actually, can you feel how I'm getting weaker? So the reason we keep pushing, can you see I push down with my palm, does that feel stronger? Yes. Yeah. So can you see in the form, we go, when we turn, dung, it's giving me this structure for the force to come in. So as he comes to strike, again, I'm gonna move off. Yep, he might push down. Then from here, I'm gonna move the sword to the side, yep. And I'm going to come in and check. Can you see I'm taking his balance? And then I strike in. Yeah, I don't, I don't necessarily need to go for the weapon. I can control him from here. Boom, this way. So as he comes again, so I move off, I block. So I'm gonna just turn the saber down. So if you just um, wait a minute. So can you see here? When I block, I step. Can you see how the saber comes down? I step out, my hand moves out, that's the trap. And I'm lifting up to chop. So this is what I'm doing here. So as he comes in, I move off, block. I move, I'm gonna trap in. Can you see I'm in range? And I'm just gonna go for his neck here. So that's turn the body and chop. 